Hi friends, this is the rate I old monk and today we are with the Google Home. So Google Home is new for India but not for the other countries. It was launched one year ago in other countries and recently five months ago Google launched the Google Mini. So definitely Home and Home Mini are not new. We are not sure that Mini is coming or not. But here we have the Google Home to try and test it out. So let's start the unboxing of the device. So here we got a special package from Google this time and in the package we got three units, different unit. So the first one is the bigger box which comes with the Google Home and it comes with everything of the instruction, manual, each and everything. We will do that unboxing later. Secondly, in the box we also get a Philips U bulb uh, which is a smart bulb and here is a Philips U bridge. So now let's do the unboxing one by one. So here we are getting a welcome note by Google. Uh, most probably you will also get it and if not, uh, you can read it out and pause it. So these are the features what you can do with Google. Let me open the ribbon and start unboxing. Here is the Google Home and it comes with these are the functions what you can get. What is its configuration? You have seen many videos on this. The main part is that it will support uh, Savan, Google Play Music, it will also support the Times of India news which will it read. There will be Philips, you support it with that, Netflix, YouTube and Google Chromecast. So these are the things, what are the, in the software or the hardware it will support. These are the questions you can ask. As far as the price is concerned, the price is 9999 which is around 10000 and this will be going to be sale on Flipkart up to my guess. I'm not sure about that, but uh, definitely you will also get the product on Google product page uh, where you can check it out. So here the device and it looks really good. It is small and compact and little heavy also here. You can see the grip. There is a power button and uh, overall this is the white color Google Home Mini. There is also a black color and uh, other than this, there are some uh, leaflets in that uh, it is given the question what you want to ask how to set up for this you need to have the Google Home app in your device and also there is a warranty card uh, so these are the three papers what you get in the box there is also a charger this is a charger uh, AC adapter which will uh, keep it charging so it doesn't work on the offline mode it needs a continuous power here is the Philips U bulb this comes with a white uh, ambience experience here you can see there is no red or green or colors and as far as the price point is concerned it price cost around 2500 bucks you can get it online also so this bulb is definitely something uh, which is a smart bulb you can call it and it works through your phone and google home can also change the things while uh, ordering it to dim it, to switch on, switch off, increase the brightness. Now coming to the Philips U here, Philips U bridge. So this is the bridge here. With the bridge you can connect with your Wi-Fi. A LAN cable will be connected to the bridge and the bridge will be connected wirelessly to the bulb. So it is a little complicated but I will tell you in detail later. We will check it in the box what we are getting. So as far as the bridge is concerned, the box is pretty similar but a little bigger than the bulb one. Here you are getting a charger, AC adapter, which needs continuously to supply the power. And other than that, in the box, we are also getting a bridge. And this can be hanged by a nail or put on the table. It is very small and it has only one button. There is a power uh, power indicator. There is also a LAN indicator. LAN should be connected. A LAN cable is also in the device. And the third is the uh, internet is running or not. Now coming to the installation of app, it is very easy. It can be done uh, through the Google Home app. So first you need to have the Google Home app in your device. Uh, both the uh, your smartphone and the Google Home will be connected in the same Wi-Fi network. So this is the major important thing. And after that, it will do this, say, tell you the instruction. You have to follow those instructions. This will be nominal according to your language, your Wi-Fi and uh, general settings so once it is done it is very easy to connect 
and the main thing is that all will be in the same wi-fi it will ask you for the google assistant the language and the google id the gmail id which one you are using if you have a multiple id i will suggest you go with your primary id because it syncs and does the things very easily now going inside for the software support here we are getting the software support of netflix uh, savan and gana these are the third party software which this will support right now and for uh, the internal it has a google play music youtube these are the apps which are supported by the device so definitely savan and gana are there uh, one drawback point is i use spotify but uh, spotify is not there and i connect, can't connect with that now here you can see there are two things two devices connected on uh, my wi-fi one is the bedroom tv and second is my google home and now i will show you here is the music so what are the features you can connect there is a google play music gana savan uh, you can't connect any other right now as far as the home control is concerned here is the bedroom tv the google home and also the lights you can see the light control here you can uh, make the shopping list whatever list you order to the google home it will just add it it is very easy and going to the google match here you can go ahead and put and sync your uh, voice with that and command there is also one more thing i want to show you uh, there is a netflix app which already we have linked with the device and uh, we haven't tried the google photos is also sync so once you call google to show the photos or news or anything the google home will display them in the android tv this is the easiest way to access without lifting your hand or your body from the place you are sitting right now so it has some features which uh, i guess you have seen already in the other videos of different youtubers uh, but i'm not going to waste time ahead in showing this uh, but this is definitely something very interesting that google has come around it took some time but finally it is here uh, as far as the google home is concerned it takes some time to learn your algorithm and uh, how you work what is your time setting and then it will try and suggest the things here uh, i'm just playing around with the app of the philips hue where you can increase or the decrease brightness you can also change the scenarios here here you can see the scenarios which we can play around with and it is very easy to do that uh, once the google home and your uh, philips bridge is there it is easy to do that all in the voice command so if you ask your google home to say switch off the t uh, light or switch on the light it is very easy i will definitely show this in the video you will get this in for the later ahead but just stay tuned till that and these are the scenarios what come through now one more important thing i will tell you that uh, it can use the app can be used for multiple bulbs in the multiple scenarios in the bedrooms or lamps or kitchen drawing room bathroom so definitely you can change the scenarios according to that uh, but the most important part is that the software should be always updated uh, one problem i had that when i have installed the bulb it took nearly one hour uh, to get it updated so the philips bulb and the philips u bridge both are here updated timingly uh, it is not a painful part but it is literally a little time taking now we will check it out how google home works with the hardware and how it follows our instruction and uh, this will be the next part of the video what are the commands you can give here are the list of commands you can just pause the video right now and check the command i am skipping that part coming to the next what are the orders you can give uh, you can order something you can snooze it you can make the reminders uh, set an alarm uh, so like you can ask this kind of thing what the day looks like tell me a joke and find me a phone read me the news make it do it google so i will just show you something and how it works and uh, talking about the hindi will it work or not currently i have choose the english language india but let's see okay google how are you i'm fine thank you what can i do for you nothing now okay okay google aap kaise ho 
All's well. Anything I can help with? Okay, Google. Can you reply me in Hindi? You can change the language of the Google Home app. Tap menu, then more settings. Choose your device, then tap assistant language and choose a language. Okay, Google. Who win the last IPL match yesterday? Chennai Super Kings beat Mumbai Indians by one wicket. Chennai Super Kings scored 169 for 9 and 19.5 overs and Mumbai Indians scored 165 for 20 overs. For other matters, try asking about a particular team. Okay, Google. What is the score of Messi in La Liga? Sorry, I don't understand. The problem here is with the Google Home. It, uh, my question was not specific, so it got confused. So you have to be more specific with your question. Now it has, comes with only English language support. The other Hindi and the regional supports may be coming very soon to the Google Home. And here you can see there are two microphones where I can put the volume down. Here you can see the two microphones, this is the speaker where you will get the output, this is the mute button, this is the light of Google charging and here you can see the power plug is there, there is a little rubberized feel for it doesn't get slick. Ok Google, switch on the lights. Ok, turning on the way. Ok Google, dim the light. Alright, dimming the way. Okay, Google. Play sound, songs on YouTube. Sorry, YouTube music isn't available in your country. Okay, Google. Play some audio. Sure, here's some songs. Something seems to have gone wrong. When you're ready, give it another try. Okay, Google. Play my playlist. Alright, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. Stop. Pause. Ok Google. Pause. Ok Google. Play video on YouTube. Ok, playing recommended YouTube videos on Bedroom TV. Ok Google. Play my playlist in YouTube. Do you still want to play that on Bedroom TV? Yes. Alright, music from YouTube. Play on Bedroom TV. Okay Google, skip one minute. Okay Google, play next. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google, play some music on bedroom TV. Sure, music from Google Play Music. Play on bedroom TV. Okay, Google, stop. Ok Google, play Narcos on Netflix. Ok, Narcos from Netflix. Playing on Bedroom TV. Sorry, I can't play Netflix on Android TV yet. Try using your Android TV remote instead. Ok Google, play some video on Amazon Video. Sorry, voice actions aren't available for that app. Ok Google, Play Amazon video. Sure, playing Amazon video from YouTube on Bedroom TV. Okay, okay Google, stop. Okay Google, switch off the lights. Alright, turning the way off. 
So now coming to the price point of the device, the Google Home comes for 9,999, which was written in the box. I still don't know what will be the introductory offer, but this will be competing against the Amazon Echo. And this will be coming on Flipkart and also I guess in the Google Home product page. Here you can see there is also a mute button and indicator light and the power cable is coming out from the bottom. This is all about the Google Home Indian version. This is at the rate I old monk signing off. Please like the video, share the video and also subscribe to our channel.